Musk, who is attending a one-day meeting on the subject Tuesday in Stockholm after a trip to Iran for talks on the country's nuclear program, says it is important that so many nations are coming together to work on strengthening and preserving the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. The treaty is in an acute crisis, he said in a statement. The nations with atomic weapons need to shoulder their responsibilities for disarmament better and at the same time we need to prevent further countries from obtaining nuclear weapons. Sweden wants to discuss how governments can work together to create political pressure for disarmament and engagement ahead of next year's conference on the treaty. Related slideshow, news and pictures provided by photo services. Emergency vehicles at the scene where a helicopter crash landed on the roof of a building in Midtown Manhattan in New York City, New York, U.S. on June 10, 2019. A man cleans his plants covered with volcanic ash from Mount Sinabung after the recent eruption in Karo, North Sumatra, Indonesia, on June 10, 2019. A man cools off his horse during a heat wave in Baghdad, Iraq, on June 10, 2019. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, advisor to Prime Minister Imran Khan on finance, revenue and economic affairs, at a pre-budget press conference in Islamabad, Pakistan, on June 10, 2019. Sudanese soldiers stand guard a street in Khartoum on June 9, 2019. Sudanese police fired tear gas at protesters taking part in the first day of a civil disobedience campaign, called in the wake of a deadly crackdown on demonstrators. Iraq's President Baram Saleh meets with German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas in Baghdad, Iraq, on June 8, 2019. Nepalese and Indian motorcyclists ride during the flag-off ceremony of a motorbike rally, Red Panda Challenge, at the eastern border with India in Kakurvita, Nepal, on June 8, 2019. France's finance minister Bruno Le Maire L. greets Canada's finance minister Bill Murnau prior to their bilateral meeting on the sideline of the G20 finance ministers and central bank. Governor's meeting in Fukuoka, Japan, on June 9, 2019. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi meets with Eritrean President Isaiah Zofwerki at the al Adhadia Palace in Cairo, Egypt, on June 8, 2019. Divers take part in the Zero Plastico or Die by Ocean and Coastal Cleanup in Bermeo, Spain, on June 8, 2019. Mexico's President Andrés Manuel López Obrador takes part in a unity rally to defend the dignity of Mexico and talk about the trade negotiations with the U.S. in Tijuana, Mexico, on June 8, 2019. Zenaida Graciani, C., chairperson of the Party of Socialists, before voting in the election of the president of the Moldovan parliament in Chisinau, Moldova, on June 8, 2019. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inspects the Guard of Honor during a welcome ceremony at Republic Square in Mail, Maldives, on June 8, 2019. Fishermen on the way to sea to catch fish early morning in Chittagong, Bangladesh, on June 8, 2019. U.S. soldiers take part in decisive strike military exercise in their camp at the Training Support Center Krivlak, Republic of North Macedonia, on June 8, 2019. Special Envoy for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Angelina Jolie speaks during a news conference with Colombia's President Ivan Duque Marquez in Cartagena, Colombia, on June 8, 2019. People visit Clifton Beach on the third and last day of the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fitr in Karachi, Pakistan, on June 7, 2019. Plumes of smoke rise following Syrian government forces reported bombardment on the town of Khan Sheikhan in the southern countryside of Idlib province, Syria, on June 7, 2019. Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs of Albania Jen Kikil is welcomed by European Union Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini ahead of a meeting at the European Commission in Brussels, Belgium, on June 7, 2019. MiG-29 jet fighters of the Strazi, Swifts, and Su-30 jet fighters of the Rusky of Ityazi, Russian Knights, aerobatic teams performed during a rehearsal for an air show, part of the Russian
All Army Competition AVIADARTS 2019, with the monument to soldier and sailor seen in the foreground, in the Black Seaport of Sevastopol, Crimea, on June 7, 2019. This long exposure photograph shows the Milky Way in the sky above Mandalay, central Myanmar, early on June 8, 2019. Oil workers hold hands and pray during a hunger strike, which started on May 30, at the Plaza de la Manita Square to demand the government the payment of labor liabilities in Caracas, Venezuela, on June 7, 2019. Nigel Farage, the leader of Britain's Brexit Party, poses for photographers before delivering a letter asking for the Brexit Party to be included in Brexit negotiations with the European Union in London, England, on June 7, 2019. Ilmars Rimsevics, Latvia's central bank governor, who is awaiting trial after being charged with accepting a bribe, speaks at a news conference in Riga, Latvia, on June 7, 2019. This image shows the main entrance to the Entrepreneurship Department building at Kumasi Technical University in Kumasi, Ghana, on June 7, 2019, where two Canadian women, who were abducted on June 4 at a golf club, had been attending classes. Children enjoy a ride during Eid al-Fitr celebrations in the Fad Hill neighborhood of Baghdad, Iraq, on June 7, 2019. A man looks at the smoke coming out from a chemical in a cloth warehouse after a fire broke out in Kolkata, India, on June 8, 2019. A floating crane on the Danube River arrives next to the Margit Bridge to take part in operations to hoist the submerged boat following an accident in Budapest, Hungary, on June 7, 2019. Boys dive into the Sardaria River during hot and humid weather in Charsada, Pakistan, on June 7, 2019. Slovakia's Prime Minister Peter Pellegrini makes remarks at the plenary session during the 2019 St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, on June 7, 2019. Confederation of African Football CAF building is seen in Cairo, Egypt, on June 6, 2019. It is reported that President of the Confederation of African Football, Ahmad Ahmad, was detained in Paris, France, over allegation of corruption. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov L. and Kenya's Foreign Minister Monica Duma meet for talks on the sidelines of the 2019 St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, on June 7, 2019. Ugandan Army officers from the UPDF Engineers Brigade construct a two-bedroom house at Bunambuti Resettlement Project in Bulambuli District, Uganda, on June 7, 2019. Migrants from India, Bangladesh and Pakistan queue to register for a permission to cross the country at the Mexican Commission for Refugee Assistance, Comar, in Tapachula, Mexico, on June 7, 2019. Venezuelan Socialist Party leader Diosdado Cabello salutes at the end of a press conference at the Jose Marti International Airport in Havana, Cuba, on June 7, 2019. Khalid al Fala, Minister of Energy, Industry and Mineral Resources of Saudi Arabia, speaks at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, Russia, on June 7, 2019. The newly elected members of the United Nations Security Council pose for a group photo in the Security Council chambers at the United Nations headquarters in New York City, New York, U.S., on June 7, 2019. Pictured, L.R. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Ralph Gonsalves, Nigerian Foreign Minister Kala Ankorau, Estonian President Kirsty Kaljulade, Tunisian Foreign Minister Kimes Jinawi and Vietnamese Deputy Foreign Minister Le Hoi Trung. European Commission President Jean-Claude Junca L. is welcomed by Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković with an official welcoming ceremony in Zagreb, Croatia, on June 7, 2019. Mufti Aziz Hasanovic speaks before performing Eid al-Fitr at Zagreb Mosque in Croatia, on June 4, 2019. 
Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei delivers his speech to the crowd during the 30th death anniversary of former Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, in Tehran, Iran, on June 4, 2019. A suspect is held down by police after a shooting in Darwin, Australia, on June 4, 2019. The shooting killed four people. Cardinal George Pell leaves the Supreme Court of Victoria in Melbourne, Australia, on June 5, 2019. He has served three months of a six-year conviction for sexually assaulting two choir boys. The 77-year-old was found guilty on December 11, 2018, in Melbourne's county court. People attend a rally against Prime Minister André Babis and Minister of Justice Marie Benisova at the Wenceslas Square in Prague, Czech Republic on June 4, 2019. People have joined the protest organized by the non-governmental organization Million Moments for Democracy, which demanded the resignation of the Justice Minister and is against the Prime Minister, who is suspected of allegedly abusing EU subsidies. Muslims attend Eid al-Fitr mass prayer at El Sedic Mosque, in Cairo, Egypt, on June 5, 2019. Firefighters on duty on the A5, following an accident, in Karlsruhe, Germany, on June 5, 2019.